could be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya and I'm an integrative health coach. Today we're going to be talking about something not so fun and that is going on antibiotics. So antibiotics can be great because yay modern medicine, but at the same time they can really take a toll on your gut because it does kill all the bacteria, including the good and the bad. So I personally had to go on antibiotics recently, so I wanted to show you guys what I do throughout my day to get my gut flora back on track. So we are gonna start right here in my kitchen this morning. Um, when I wake up, I usually go work out and then I come back and the first thing I do is take my supplements. So part of my supplements is taking a probiotic. So I want to show you guys the probiotic that I do. This is something that I take on a regular, whether I'm trying to heal my gut or not, but I think it's especially important to take one when you are trying to heal your gut. So I want to show you guys what I'm taking. So in the past, I would take like a, like a probiotics in a capsule um, but recently I found this product here um, it's essentially a fermented organic coconut milk so if you think of like kefir and all that you know they have high amounts of probiotics so this one is crazy there's four trillion live bacteria and there's 40 plus trillions um, so that's a lot um, if you like have a probiotic right now you can go check and I'm pretty sure you're probably gonna be more um, in the like five to 10 billion range. Uh, so I really like this product. I just take a tablespoon of that in the morning and yeah, that's it. My second tip to heal your gut is also part of my morning routine and that is having a bone broth in the morning. So that's not something I do all the time. Definitely something when I feel like my digestion's a little bit upset or times like this, um, but it is super, super easy to make. So you can make a big batch. So I made one last night. Um, but you can make a big batch of bone broth and then just have it in the fridge for the whole week and just grab like a cup. I usually do, yeah, around a cup in the morning. So right now I have fresh bone broth. So I'm just gonna pour myself a cup, enjoy that with my breakfast. And if you haven't heard of bone broth before and what it can do for your body, essentially it's super anti-inflammatory and especially for your gut. So there is, um, there's plenty of good stuff. All the minerals come out of the bones and are in the liquid. There's collagen. There's also a ton of amino acids and particularly uh, glutamine, which is super, super good to heal your gut. So that's why I'm doing it. If you are interested on in learning how to make bone broth, just let me know and I'll post my recipe down below. All right, so tip number three. So I just sat down to eat my breakfast and I wanted to show you uh, one like a key food that I add in my breakfast or it doesn't have to be in breakfast, but I like, I prefer in my breakfast. Um, that's really beneficial for your gut health. So that is um, fermented foods. So I really like kimchi, um, but whatever you like, you can do sauerkraut. Um, there's a ton of other like options. I really like kimchi because of like the kick, it's a little spicy and I feel like it just complements my breakfast really well, like eggs and all that. So this is my breakfast right here, so I'm just having some eggs that I got from the market. Pretty much everything I got from our local market. Um, we got some organic cherry tomatoes, some turkey, and this is the superstar right here. So. Kimchi. So kimchi is essentially um, fermented cabbage with like spices and all that. So yeah, anything that's been fermented will have those good bacteria and that will transfer it to your gut once you eat it. So I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and my bone broth and I will catch up with you guys later. All right guys, it is a little bit later now. It's around lunchtime, so I'm starting to make some lunch. So I'm gonna show you guys what I am making. So I'm just starting to prep a chicken zoodle soup. Um, so I'm putting some carrot, celery, some garlic, some zucchini in there. I'm gonna make some noodles out of that. I got some chicken cooking in the oven. And yeah, I already got some olive oil in the pan ready to go. So I'm gonna finish prepping that and then I will let you guys know why I chose this meal. 
Okay, soup is done, and my tip number four is eating foods that are easy to digest. So there's two parts to this one. Uh, first, avoiding foods that are a little bit harder on the digestive system. Things like gluten, dairy, they're common food allergens, and they just require a little bit more from our system, and they are known um, to be inflammatory as well. I'm not saying that they're gonna be problematic for everyone, but unless you're getting some tests done to confirm that, I would suggest just taking them out uh, while you're trying to heal your gut and eventually you should be able to reintroduce them if you want to. I personally follow a strict paleo diet when I'm trying to heal my gut and on top of that, I choose foods that are easy to digest. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that my lunch 99% of the time is a big salad bowl. But recently I've noticed that after having my salad, my stomach was a little bit upset and that is probably from the raw vegetables. Raw vegetables are a little bit harder to digest. They have a ton of fiber. So that's where the soup comes in. So even though it is summertime here, I will be trading in my salad bowls for soups for a little while. I've also upgraded this soup a little bit compared to your like classic chicken noodle soup. So I use um, zucchini noodles instead of regular noodles. So again, a little bit easier on um, your gut. And then I've also added turmeric in there, which is super anti-inflammatory and use a chicken stock, which is also anti-inflammatory. So yeah, that's it. Um, I got two more tips for you guys coming up. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Hello again, I am back. So I'm just um, sitting in bed right now doing some work. It's a holiday here in Canada today. Um, it's Canada Day, so happy Canada Day to all of my Canadians. Um, it'll be a little bit late by the time you see this, but hey, I think it's gonna go, the video's gonna go up just in time for maybe July 4th, so happy July 4th to my Americans, and for anyone else, happy day. Um, so I want to show you, um, I guess a snack, or not really a snack, a drink that I like to have. Um, I, I have this all the time, it's my like drink of choice that's not water, um, and that is kombucha. So I like sipping on kombucha um, sometimes with my lunch or just in the afternoon for something different. Like I try to get a ton of water in um, but water gets boring so this stuff is good especially if you like fizzy. Um, this has had like a little bit of carbonation so it's really nice. Um, I love the Goodmore brand. If you are located in the um, like Halifax, Nova Scotia area then you may be able to get your hands on this stuff. Uh, I love the green uh, rose hip hibiscus. That is my favorite flavor and it's so pretty. Like, look at this color. Anyway, so I'm gonna be sipping on that. Kombucha is a fermented tea. Um, so again, good gut bacteria in there um, and just kind of switching it up. Like I, I had the kimchi earlier that had, it was like a fermented foods, um, but also adding the kombucha in there. It's just variety and I think you're good like that. So yeah, I'm gonna have that snack. So that was tip number five, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, so tip number six will come with dinner. So I'll see you guys then. All right guys, it's time for tip number six. I really hope you guys are still with me because this is a really important one. It's one that a lot of people often forget or don't even know about. So today I've been talking a lot about probiotics, but it is equally as important to have your prebiotics. Prebiotics are a dietary fiber that actually act as a fertilizer for your good gut bacteria. So what I'm trying to say here is without the prebiotics, there's no food to feed the probiotics. So where can you get prebiotic fiber? Well, um, there's a few good sources. Chicory root, um, artichoke is a really good one. Uh, onion and garlic also and then two of my favorites is asparagus and sweet potatoes So I want to show you guys what I'm making for dinner right now. All right So as you can see here, I'm having some of the veggies. I just mentioned so Asparagus and sweet potatoes are two of my favorite veggies and they just happen to be really good prebiotic sources and then I have the onion as well so I am just gonna chop all of that up and place it on a baking sheet along with the salmon. And that's gonna be my dinner. Super simple, super healthy, and microbiome friendly. All right, now I wanna hear from you guys. So what are your top tips for supporting a healthy gut? I really hope you found my tips helpful. If you did, 
please give this video a like. Um, it will support my little baby channel. And of course, subscribe and take the notification bell uh, so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate every minute you spend with me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. You can do better, I dare you to be wilder